is a busy 21st century go go get a man like me on the YouTube. I um I only have the next amount of time to actually do uh, Lego stuff every day, and I spent a lot of my time fiddling around with some buildings that I was working on for the town, and um and I cleaned some bricks. I cleaned some of the, the that Denmark Brooklyn quarter. If you haven't seen that. Um, maybe we'll come back to it, shall we? Anyways, um, I thought I would talk quickly today about some failed buildings. These are built not, eh, not failed. They're buildings that aren't in, um, Parish or Margaritaville is the, the, still the, the working name for that one. But they're just extra buildings that I have kind of laying around and why they're not so, they're not, like, included and stuff. Maybe. So I've got, this one is probably my best one, but I'm not entirely happy with it. Um, it's just the color scheme mostly, but it's a, it's a little toy shop that was made for a little, little mock contest. I'm very happy with this, uh, signboard here. I really like that. I would include that in any town, you know, no doubt. Um, I very much like the, the stickers and the prints that I was able to find for it. And the little lantern build is not not the best, but not bad. Um, this has been sitting for a little bit, so it's in, in a little bit of um, uh, dust condition. So inside we do have a removable roof, or second floor, I guess. Um, and this is the um, the toy shop. It's mostly blue and, and brick yellow. It's a... Jeez, I don't know that color's name, the official name. Got a little lantern out front and a little door. I really like this door. That's a good color and that um, lattice piece. That's a mediocre thing about this one is that I do lose the sign all the time. And it's only got one of the stickers on it because you're only going to see half of it. But um, in the second floor, very happy with the, um, the living quarters of this one, actually. I could basically stick these living quarters in just about any... Um, any thing I do and I would be happy with them. I've got a little uh, bed here with the sheets pulled back. It's a little bit longer bed than I normally do. It's um, looks like it's five bricks long. A little pillow up front and the sheets, like I said, folded back. Uh, a little table, mostly done with um, collector plates, CMF plates. He's got a little box of cereal there. Um, speaking of collector plates, I made some uh, shelving here. Oops, broke half of it. But um, very simple shelving you can just make by putting a brick um, behind it. And they're a little bit thick because of that, but, you know, nice. There's a sticker, too. Nice uh, use of that one, I think. Anyways, little little things on the shelf. Nice. Um, got a little stuff over there. Oops. Over there. And a little ladder up to the roof. A little bit more concerned about realism right then than I was, or am currently, I guess. But uh, we don't want to spend too much time looking at any one of these buildings, although we did spend most of this video, I feel like, or an unreasonably amount of time doing that one. <sighs> this building. Uh, a lot of placeholder bits in this, but I didn't end up finding a door that I liked. Um, Fence probably wouldn't live there. Both of these, by the way, the last one and this one, are on 16 by 16 base plates. Or plates, they're just regular plates, they've got the thing. Um, not kind of is the idea for them to fit into parish, is that that's like a grid um, that goes along the street. But anyway, so this one's a very simple one. What I like about this one is, is I did make every wall separate. And the nice thing about that is you can get up into any angle of the house for posing and photographing. Unfortunately, it makes the buildings very structurally unsound. Now, this one, I don't exactly remember how I had it, but I had a little tower here. I think the tower went here. And then I had some more sections that kind of did stuff. I don't exactly remember how these sections attached, but the idea was that the whole thing could be removable and not removable. But, yeah, um, probably not going with that lime green in the small town right now that I'm building, but it's, you know, a thing. At one point I was messing up the junior plates, making houses. 
And I like these a lot because you can just like snap them together and make that's a 16 by 16 with a little bit extra. Um, but you can do different shapes pretty quickly. And then these junior windows are great. I might use that piece, that color in town. It's a little light, I feel like, um, for the small town I'm building, but I just, I do like that, um, cool yellow. I forget, I forget it's like bright cool yellow or something. Bright yellow? I don't know. It's the lemon chiffon color. And this one also has some nice prints on the base piece. And then this one, no, well, let's do this one first. This one is the one that I did in the building on a budget, and it was never meant to be a real house, but I've kept it built. A simple interior could definitely tune it up and make it fixable, make it usable. Um, just I just haven't, I guess. Nothing much to say about that. So this one, this is the last kind of house I've got rolling around right now, but it's not, it's not a mock. It is a set. It is Mr. Spry's little market stall and the magic portal. The magic portal is a really cool piece. You can't see it behind Mr. Spry, but it's on a some ball pegs, so you can like hide it away. Yep, there it's gone. It just comes back in. Uh, the purple squirrel, I think, is a fun choice of a mini figure. So I could definitely do something with him, and I want to. I want to. I want to expand this house just a little bit more to fit into my style, but have this market stall underneath and a little house on top. But the problem is, is that these this roof style. First of all, these colors. I don't have um, a lot of that to work with. That dark purple and me dark azure. That's dark azure. Um, what I would probably do is probably cut it there cut this little set stall section out. Um, it should be doable enough. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, it like literally would be just this, this plate thing, but it would go onto a new base. I'd, I'd rebase it. Maybe change the color of the awning. These dots would need to be changed out to match that. And I think that's kind of the roof. The roof obviously would be changed. I don't know how to do the roof. Hang on a second. <clears throat> so the pieces I just cleaned were the Fabuland roof pieces, and they're yellow though. Does that look terrible? Oh, maybe I go like this. I have green as well. Maybe. Hmm. I may have solved that just with you right now. But if I do two roof pieces, extend these walls up, um, I think those are going to look kind of awkward. Yeah, it's going to probably look awkward like that, sticking out, but well, we'll, we can mess around with that. I think you extend these walls up to keep the living space on the inside basically the same. And then we throw these roofs on that and we have to put something um in this hole here but basically yeah these don't these don't want to stay on one stud very nicely but it would kind of i'm liking that i'm liking that a lot and it's almost is deep and again we're going for that classic cutaway dollhouse style so we don't need the back wall to be super accurate um that might be really nice and the yellow isn't super distracting when it's on the side yeah, I might do that with, um, so the main colors are, are the brick yellow and the flame, bright flame orange, whatever that color is, so, yeah, I'm liking that, guys, so that might be a new house in the, in the small town for a market, because I've been kind of wanting to make a little market for general goods, and I just hadn't come up with a good plan for it, so I think Mr. Spry may be, uh, moving into the town. I don't know how I feel about the... well, I don't really care. I was going to say, he's not a classic figure, he's not even a minifigure, he's, he's a purple molded squirrel, so... Anyways, problem solving feels good, so I might do something with that. Let me know what you think about that one, at the very least. Um, I think it'll be nice to have a little market stall, pose some figures around it. Also, it doesn't take up a lot of space because he is much smaller than a minifigure, so that's that's a positive to me. 
Um, so yeah, that's it's kind of a little, a little reminiscing thing, talking about some of my town update. I think we're going to include this with the town update stuff, so... You know, I don't know. I don't think the magic portal is making a new town. Also, hey, hear me out there here. Um, what if I remove the um, the river crossing scene and made it? This is pretty crazy. Um, a port, like a dock, um, and made it a little fishing town. You guys, anyone here at ten minutes thirty seconds in got an opinion on that? I, uh, I'm probably gonna do it anyways. I've been thinking about it a lot. But uh, if you, you know, if you say that you think it's a good idea, I'll appreciate the uh, the input. So I'm going to leave you guys there for the night. Thank you so much for being here, all the ancient fans. Um, automatic video over here. Subscribe on that, that good Lego Elves set. And then Mr. Spry and the Magic Portal is a video. Uh, it's that haul video that I've been referencing this whole time. So thanks, Denmark.